Here's what's coming up on Kaleidoscope. We conclude our series on vegetarianism, which we have been presenting all of this week. All that and more coming up on Kaleidoscope. Watching IHS TV Channel 11. And now, Barry Harris, Laura Boyd, and the K Scope News Team. This is Kaleidoscope News this morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, March 6th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. It's a pleasure to have you with us. We're going to start off with a look at the weather. Hi, this is Seth with the weather. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 52. Tonight's low will be 46. The current temperature is 41 degrees and the humidity is at 62%. And the barometric pressure is at 30.19 and steady. And now are the birthdays. This is Sophie with the birthdays. The birthdays for the weekend are Tom Parry, Eric Berlin, Julie Kepler, Laura Boyd, Jamie Troxell, Lizzie Brown, Linda Liu, Steph Coots, Sarah Carlos, Devin McCann, Lawrence Manton, and Alice Marshall. Happy birthday. Now over to today's headline. This is Jess with today's headline. NASA will launch a spacecraft with a telescope that will spend the next three and a half years looking for stars and new planets. Now back to the news. Delaware County Community College will be here next Wednesday in the Career Center at 9 a.m. Interested students should see Mrs. Lenza for a pass. Start cramming all the pie you can get. That is 3.14 pie. The math department is sponsoring contests to give prizes to the top three students who can memorize the most digits of irrational number pi in celebration of Pi Day. Attention all seniors, if you were not able to attend the cap and gown measurement session yesterday, you will be given a makeup time. Now for sports. Good morning, this is Allie and Jim with today's sports. The Phillies lost to Team USA yesterday 9-6. to They play again tonight against the Blue Jays at 7.05. The Phillies also play tomorrow at home against the Tigers at 105 and again Sunday against the Braves in Cleveland again at 105. The Flyers were defeated by the Flames last night 5 to 1. They take on the Predators at home tomorrow. The puck drops at 7. That's it for sports. Now over to the news desk. The Interborough High School Theater will be holding a fundraiser in the Norwood Elementary parking lot from 3 to 6 p.m. tomorrow. The Nelson Value Meal dinners will be on sale which will consist of chicken and ribs. Sounds very delicious. The John D. Unang Scholarship application is due on March 10th. Applicants or a member of their immediate family must be a member of the credit union. The junior prom is fast approaching. Tickets will be $50 a person, so it is advisable to start saving now. Sales begin at the end of this month. We are concluding our vegetarian series today. Laura Boyd is here with some final thoughts. To wrap up our session this week, we have some tips for those following a vegetarian diet. It's important to build meals around protein sources that are naturally low in fat. Don't overload meals with high-fat cheese to replace the meat. Calcium-fortified soybean beverages can substitute milk in a vegetarian diet and contain less fat and less cholesterol. Foods that contain meat and poultry may have a vegetarian counterpart that tastes just as good and has less fat and cholesterol. Finally, restaurants can accommodate vegetarian modifications to menu items. Substitutions are more likely to be available at restaurants that make food to order. A special thanks goes to Ms. App Majin for providing us with information. We will continue to celebrate National Nutrition Month next week. Now over to the menu item of the day. Hi, this is Nick with the menu. Today we'll have grilled hot ham and cheese with french fries and applesauce. And Monday we'll have baked macaroni and cheese, wheat dinner roll, and stewed tomatoes. And now over to the vocab word. This is Colin with the vocab word of the day. Today's vocab word is pescatarian, meaning a vegetarian whose diet includes fish. For example, the pescatarian could not wait to go on the deep sea fishing trip. Now over the quote of the day. This is DJ with the quote of the day. Paul McCartney once said, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, everyone would be a vegetarian. Now over to this day in history. This is Chris with this day in history. On this date, March 6, 1836, the Texan volunteers went at the Alamo for 13 days. And in 1899, Bayer registered aspirin as a trademark. And now over to trivia. This is Brooke with the trivia. Did you know that if you go vegetarian, you could save an average of $4,000 in food bills a year? Now over to entertainment. What's up, Interbaris? This is DJ with the entertainment. Some concerts this weekend are Nickelback with Seether and Saving Abel at the Wachovia Center, OK Go with Oppenheimer and Longwave at the Theater of Living Arts, and Motley Crue with Hinder, Theory of a Dead Man, and The Las Vegas 
at the Borgata Event Center in Atlantic City. Now over to the news desk. Hello there. Are you a credit union member? Yeah. Why? Because I want to give you prizes. What kind of prizes? Well... March 18th, a few lucky credit union members will enter the infamous cash queue and will have the chance to win various gift cards to such eateries as Dunkin' Donuts, Wawa, and Starbucks. Also, Wings tickets, that's right, Wings tickets, will be up for grabs. For when, you ask? March 28th, April 5th, and April 11th of this year. Wow, that's awesome. What's the matter with you? I want prizes. But I'm not a member. Well, just fill out a simple application and you can. The credit union is great. I know. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching Kaleidoscope. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. All of you out there, keep marching to a beat of a different drum. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>